Hello, my name is Dustin with 2A Direct, and today we're going to go over interoperability and the options that you have with it. First of all, we're going to be talking about setting it up with a mobile unit, uh, which is available to be a desktop unit or mounted into a vehicle. Um, runs off of 12 volts, um, but you can always set it up with a power supply that will convert the 120 to 12 volts. That will connect to Cubic Vocality device. This device will actually be a gateway that connects the LTE network to your LMR network with the donor radio. Today we will be speaking exclusively on the Cubic Vocality device and how it operates and communicates to the LTE broadband network. It has four ports on it that will allow you to connect four donor radios or four channels on your LMR network. This can also be daisy chained with two more devices allowing it to have up to 12 donor radios and 12 LMR channels to be repeated at any single time. It connects in the front port as you can see four here. In the back it does take a SIM card. The SIM card will work on the AT&T network or the FirstNet network depending on which you're operating on. The Cubic Vocality unit, once connected to the network, works through a Kodiak system that opens an application on your cell phones. This application is a push-to-talk service that allow you to communicate with all the phones on the push stock service, but will also communicate to the interrupt device. When you key up on the phone, it keys up this device. The vocality will then key up the radio and talk as if the radio is normally working on your LMR network, and vice versa. So when someone keys up a handheld radio, it will key up this unit, in turn keying up your EPTT application. When using the interoperability, you have two options. You can either use a mobile radio or a portable radio. Both of them function slightly different. When you're using a mobile radio, it works off of core processing. It means that when the vocality keys up, it sends a signal to the radio to key up the radio and operate it while transmissions are going through versus a portable radio. A portable radio communicates, but it works off the sound of your voice, it works off of Vox. So when the device hears sound coming into the radio, the device will automatically key up and vice versa. We have found that core processing is the optimal option when going through interoperability. However, the Vox is a closed loop, so you're not gonna get interference of sound from the outside, so it is a great option if this is the way that you'd like to go. One other difference between running a mobile versus a portable radio is when it is powered on. The Cubic Vocality runs off of a 12 volt DC system. So when you run it off of a mobile unit and you already have a power converter powering the mobile unit, you are able to connect it directly to the power supply running the 12 volts to the unit. It is one singular unit with one singular plug into the wall. However, when you're running off of a portable radio, you are unable to steal power from the converter. So you will have to supply another converter that will power the unit as well, and the radio will power off of its own battery. All in all, when this unit is put into your LMR system, it will allow all communications that are currently working over your two-way radios to be sent out to your cell phones on the LTE network, and you will have broadband communications nationwide with your current LMR network. In the description below, there will be a link to this system working at our office here in Carlsbad, communicating with our CEO in Nashville, Tennessee. With any questions, please comment below or give us a call at 888-742-5893.